Tim Holtz Auth Antique and Seven Gypsies today. We're going to start with the Tim Holtz die. Hey, um, Sizzix. I started um, with the bird branch over here. I'm there. I was so excited. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty simple, but look what happens when you die cut it. Here is all these one, two, three, four pieces. I know that's not from the bird die. I used Bow Bunny Weekend Market. Look at that piece of paper and look what it turns into. Well, the reason I have the, two, the dress form and this other die, just to show you how fabulous this particular piece of paper, I thought, die cut. It's nice and delicate, you know? Yeah, now the bird's dark and then, you know, what I did is I used it up here, I used the lighter side and then I ran the bird through on a second piece of paper. Actually, I have it here. The Prima, I cut it out right here, some words, and I just glued it right on and inked the edges a little bit, used the pearl pen to put an eye, um, and the butterflies here, once I put crackle paint on them, again, it's from this piece of paper, which is from the Almanac collection, Prima, it's two-sided papers, great to die cut. Um, we, that pearl pen, by the way, is Viva Decor. You gotta have one, they work really well, they don't leave a, like a... Line. Yeah, like a Scrim. ice cream cone tip. They don't yeah. leave that, so they can make it round. Here is the tatted floral garland die, which has little um, circles, so you can attach it with a brad totally easily on the leaves and the flowers. And oh, well, when I'm looking at this little album, this is the Bow Bunny album. I want to show you a couple little products too that I used. Um, the fly words I took from Jenny Boland's new stickers. Love that Jenny Bolin stickers. And I have a tile from Prima and these flowers from Prima. Really soft, pretty. And of course, down here, Maya Road burlap with these clocks, which you can't have enough of these clocks. That's uh, Prima. Prima. And I have also a Seven Gypsies ruler in here. But the other die is the On the Edge Sewing Edge. And then this is the two embossing folders. Called, Cirque set. Yeah, Retro Cirque. Retro and here's, shirt. look, here's I, here's I did the bird here, Scott. I did it from another piece of paper, and look how gorgeous it looks. I mean, this is exciting. It's really fun to play with. So you can cut out your little birds for wherever you want them, or, you know, just glue on whatever kind of bird you want here. Off the antique. Nice. Um, nice man feel. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Look at that. And we have these in the pads as well as in the kits. Great background. And it's that nice thick paper, too. And a new shadow box, 12 by 12, seven gypsies. Whoa, I can't even get it all right I know. Now. Well, it's it's large. It's, boy. And it's like an inch and three quarters deep. Oh, good. I can't find my ruler. I think I just gave it to my daughter. And here's the seven gypsies new um, binding with the pages in it. Totally. Can you see how thick those pages are? It's all are? bookboard. All bookboard. You're going to love that. But more seven gypsies. Just a second. Hey, and here's the rest from the Postal collection, along with some hardware from seven gypsies. Got some cool vintage clips up there with a little rubber. And the, where are you? Oh, there, you're over on the side. Tag inserts. Tag inserts, you get 20 pieces. So it's jam-packed. The little tag envelopes, which gives you 10 envelopes. Super fun. The clips that I was mentioning with a little rubber on them comes in handy, as you can see, with a clock. And those are the index cards. Give you an idea, these are single-sided. They fit in the library drawer. Oh, how neat. The larger size. All with that international airmail kind of feel, right? Yep. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, wow, a lot of ideas with these. And then they also have envelopes. Yep, index envelopes to fit the pieces. The little tickets, can't go without those. There's 14 in a package. The index cards are just 20 scalloped uh, index weight cards. And then the smaller mini tag inserts, which is 20 pieces. Which... Here comes your stamp. Oh, absolutely. Right stamp on that, Stamp huh? and miss on those. And I almost skipped the paper tape there. Three rolls with a masking tape kind of feel. Oh. You know, you're going to need two or three packages of those gator clips. Oh, yeah. Once you start opening them, they go everywhere, and oh, they're really fun. Right. Now, this is the board kit, and as you can see, you can use ribbon to bring it together. Beautiful. Embellish it. And behind, we have the banner kit, which actually, I think the picture looks better Oops, no, it doesn't. It is right. It's a gorgeous banner, and it's really heavy. It is. It is very heavy. Now, underneath, we've got sticker sheets with alphas, as well as the collection stickers. And the, the stamp. The clear stamp we saw just a minute ago. 
The pads come in both the 8x8 as well as the 6x6 size. There's 48 sheets of paper. And this is the Antiquities Postal double-sided paperweight in regard to the thickness of the paper. Very adaptable. You're going to find this mixes in with a number of the collections that are out there. Again, whether you're using it as a centerpiece or layering it or die cutting it. Die cutting it for sure. I this mean, will... Seven Gypsies is the best die cutting paper. Let me try to get this one. There we go. And oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that script is lovely. You'll find this all at bluemoonscrapbooking.com. We'd love to have you visit. It's uh, Seven Gypsies.